Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be this wet eye look I have going on. I absolutely love it. I was scared that it was going to come out looking like shit, but it came out looking bomb. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And um, I don't know if you saw my last video. It was in Spanish though, so maybe some of you didn't see it. But I have a new backdrop. A turn up. I'm so happy because finally, you know, without the backdrop, yes, I have a glam room and like it's pretty, but to make sure everything is set up perfectly and sometimes that's why I don't film because it's so messy I don't have time to fix it yada yada so I finally have a backdrop so I'm really excited give this video a thumbs up if you liked it write something down in the description sorry in the comment box down below uh, like if you guys have any suggestions for further videos please let me know I would love to hear your feedback and thank you so much again for all your support and thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel we are over 5,000 so um, I really just want to keep growing my YouTube family so if you haven't subscribed before we get on with the video hit that red subscribe button down below girl and so without further ado let's get into it first things first we are going to prep the skin since today's look is going to be very glowy I do want to use this radiance booster um, it is the visible lift brightening primer with 24 hour hydration from L'Oreal also disclaimer I'm very sick right now, so if it looks like I'm not really into it, I am into it. I just, I'm so sick. I just don't like doing voiceover, so I didn't want to do a voiceover. Um, I like being like real authentic and in the moment with you guys. So yeah, forgive me if I sound a little bit like boring today, but I still wanted to film this look for you, so just, I had to throw that in there. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to go in with this Japanese Luminous Foundation in the shade 03 and 05. Just because 05 is a little bit more tan, 03 is more light, and I don't think that I have shade 4. I'm going to be throwing in a little Lumi Action Beauty Blender. I'm going to go in and just apply this like so. So I never do foundation first, but this look is not going to have so much um, like color in the actual eyes because it's more of like a glossy lid. So I figured let's, you know, start off, put the gloss on last because this is the first time I do this look. So I'm a little nervous at the outcome. And you guys already know I've got to do some color correcting. I'm just taking the Benefit Erase Paste in the shade 01. I'm just putting it under my eyes. I'm going in with Maybelline Age Rewind in the color Neutralizer. I am just going to put this under like so. A little bit there, a little bit here, and a little bit there. With my damn beauty blender, I just take it and you know the drill. I prefer to start blending it like on the very outer edge and then I do the very inner after. And I'm gonna take any residue and just pat that on my lid as well. I'm gonna go back in and kind of just make sure everything is blended. You can take the other side of the beauty blender and just blend that shit. Now going in with this Becca concealer, uh, I am going to take an Aesthetica C11 brush and just a very light application to the very inner corner of my under eye. For this look, I do want to do a cream contour because I feel like creams just make everything look a lot more luminous versus powders. So I'm going in with my Bodyography Foundation Palette. You can see I use this literally all the time. And I'm going to go in with uh, these two shades right here. I'm using the Aesthetica C9 brush for this. And I just like doing it a little bit under here to just chisel out um, my jawline a little bit more. Now we're just going to blend, 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 blend. Remember to blend it back. And then we land over here. I wish I knew what this brush was called because uh, this line of brushes is so good. But I got it as a gift and they don't have names. But I have so many of them and they're so good. I wish I knew them so I could go and buy more. Ooh, my boyfriend's calling me. Hold up. Hello. Hi. Oh, okay. Bye. He's here, but I gotta finish up my contour first. So to blend everything together, I am taking the back of that beauty blender and just blending it. I'm 
You hear my dog working? That means he's here. Okay, you're back. Okay, so our skin is pretty much done. What I'm going to do now is set it. Okay, so I'm using a set of the Cosmetics Translucent Powder. It's not the banana powder I already use in every single video. Okay, you thought it is not that one. It is this one. We don't want to bake everything. We are tapping off the excess. We are just putting it like this all over our face. I always get it, I literally got it all over myself. Just tap it on rather than like baking it. However, for under the eyes, I am gonna put, I am gonna uh, pack on a little more. Only like kind of like in the eye triangle area. Set our lids as well. So what I'm gonna do right now is just take this uh, gel highlighter. It is Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop in the color with he y'all know that I love this. Look at that, oh my god, it's literally, I can't, it's so beautiful. And I just put it like along the high points of my face, following that like a C shape. So it's just a very like golden, natural finish um, highlight. And you can also put it like on your collarbones. So I do want to set that bronzer that we put. So I am going to be using Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And this is what it looks like. It's a very cool toned bronzer. Taking my BH Cosmetics 126 brush. I feel like this bronzer just gives everything like the perfect uh, glow. <laughs> Come say hi, just say hi. Just really quickly. And I'm gonna do a little bit of nose contour. Also, just a tad. We're not gonna use a powder blush. We're gonna use this one from Maybelline. This one's really great because you just apply it with your finger. Okay, so real quick, I just did my brows off camera because they were really bothering me and I just had to get that out of the way. For highlights, I'm going to be using the Kylie Birthday Collection Edition highlighters that she came out. They're more like loose glitters. Uh, this is in the shade Queen. Essentially, this is what it looks like and I'm really scared to spill it. Ah, I don't know, you can see it. They're like glitters. Um, Something some people might not like. I like it, I don't care. The more glittery, the better. I'm just going in with my Y14 uh, brush from Morphe. My boyfriend's watching me. And now I feel awkward. <laughs> and of course, I put it here on my collarbones and on my chest and my shoulders and everywhere. For eyeshadow, we're gonna keep it super simple because we don't wanna play around with a lot of colors. Why? Because you're gonna fuck up when you put the lip gloss. So we're going in with this Smashbox Trio. I don't know if you guys remember when they came out with this, um, but I'm going in with this like caramel color and I'm taking my Morphe brush. I don't know what it's called, but you guys know I use the same one every time. And I am just putting this into the crease to give it some sort of dimension so that uh, the entire lid is not just one color. Because you could essentially just put the lip gloss on your lid but I feel like you need to have some sort of dimension first. So now, we are gonna move on to this part. We're almost there, we're almost there. We are gonna be applying a Bodyography. This is um, in the shade of Bubbly. It is a glitter pigment. Now, I wanted to put glitter because I feel like it just makes it look so much more bomb and perfect. Okay, can we talk about the pigment here, please? Like, hello. And all on the lid, just packing that shit on. But try not to go farther up than the crease. Sometimes when you apply pigments and glitters with your finger, they apply a lot smoother and nicer and with a lot more brightness and color. So that is just a trick. Just make sure that your fingers, of course, are clean. Okay, I want to leave the wet part last, just in case it applies weirdly like it makes my mascara and stuff apply weirdly so i'm gonna do all of that before right now okay so for lashes i'm using dodo lashes d119 you guys can use my code tunnel glam for some money off 
yes, that is an affiliate code, but you get money off anyway, so it's a win-win for both of us. The trick is to letting the glue dry like a minute and a half uh, before you try to glue them on. I'm going to take a little pencil brush and the darkest shade of this Smashbox Trio. I'm going to just put this along uh, the waterline area and just smoke it out. So now I take Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal and it is the best mascara in the whole world. And we are just going to... Try to connect the lashes, your natural lashes, with the false lashes. So for the glossy lid, what I'm going to be using is a clear lip gloss. Um, I tried using earlier Vaseline and that just made everything really matte looking and without any color. And so, I don't know, it just looks weird. Um, this seemed to work earlier. This is just a high shine lip gloss from Victoria's Secret. I'm going to apply it with a Q-tip and I'm going to zoom you and well, I just take like this amount and just start packing it on my lid. So be very careful with this step because if you put it all the way to the top then you're just gonna have a whole mess everywhere but I think it is looking like pretty good, pretty glossy. Uh, you do have to be very careful which is why it's good to use a Q-tip because you have a dry side and you can kind of um, control and clean it up if it gets like too far up into the crease. And we're just going to repeat it on this side. So I like to start in the middle and kind of just pack it. So this is basically the technique that has been working right now. I don't know how this would work with another eyeshadow or another color. All I'm going to do is go back with that transition shade and just Put that again in my crease very carefully. Okay, zoom you guys back out. But for my lips, I'm going to go in with ColourPop uh, Parker. It is a matte lipstick, and I'm just going to like dab it on. So I just wanted to highlight my cupid's bow a little bit more. And now I'm going to be applying the same gloss that I applied on my lids on my actual lips. So we're going to use some setting spray. And I have been loving this one lately. This is the Master Fix from Maybelline. This is what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. We got that glossy lid going, the glossy lips, the highlight popping. I'm really happy with how it came out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you subscribe to my channel because I do post videos in Spanish and in English. And yeah, you guys are gonna love all the different types of videos that I have planned because I just graduated. And P.S. if you haven't seen my graduation vlog, I will post it down below. But with that being said, I have a lot more time on my hands. So even though I'm studying for an exam right now, but either way, I have more time to film and I kind of have uh, more leniency with my schedule. So if you guys want any particular video uh, to go up, please let me know in the comment section down below. And also if you liked this look that I have going on here, please give it a thumbs up so that I know you guys liked it. And yeah, I'll see you next time.